This is our best conversation episode. Worst gameplay episode. Fantastic. You're just walking We're, around and I'm just walking around in a big square because the room is square. I want to tell you what to do, but I kind of like watching you walk around. It's amusing, right? I don't know what episode this is. Or five, 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 of this of the channel, but like, <laughs> I mean, of this series of playing. Oh, that sounded joy. That sounded mean. No, it that didn't. sounded really mean. Didn't sound like anything. I'm like the silence of space because I'm going for the authenticity. Authenticity, genuine authenticity. Can you make it through this door? Maybe. Aim mode. Yeah, no. What do you think I've been doing? <laughs> That's that's what that's going on there. Ow! I don't think I can get through there fast enough. No. You gotta use your stasis. Do you remember the stasis thing? I don't remember how to use it. I don't either. I wasn't listening. You hit, uh... There you go. <laughs> you did it. I just, I just remember how I <laughs> you just hit a previously button. previously played the sequel. I guess that it was something similar. So I played the first Dead Space to completion several times. <laughs> to completion? <laughs> completion. Did you have to pay extra for that? I did. Um, I never played the second one. I never played the third one. Second one's very fun. I heard the second one was really good. I heard the third one was utter crap. Well, that's why I haven't played that one. Right. I listened to the masses. I mean, usually if someone says, don't play this game, it sucks. There's a reason for that. It just depends on the person. Honestly. When I, the vast majority of people there say, you go. don't play this game, please. Then just skip it and wait till it goes on sale, play it eventually, and then go, yep, they were right, and put it away and never play it again. Now, that being said, there are games out there that people say are bad that I enjoy. Oh, check out the rod on that guy. But, but here's the thing, I don't know what they are. I know they exist, they have to. I'm trying to think of a game that I like that no one else likes. I can't think of it off the top of my head, which probably means... My opinion is in line with the masses. Yeah, I don't have a lot of hot takes, I don't think. I mean, not about video games, mostly just about eugenics. No. Everyone has a hot oh, take, man. though. Everyone's got a hot take about everything. Well, not everyone. Any any internet writer has a hot take. Yeah, well, that's what they count on, is that they're going to write some headline that's going to make you click and get them ad money. I and mean, I clicked it. It's not even about having an actual opinion. I clicked it. And I'm, I'm ashamed of it. I should have just gone to the comment section and read what other people thought of the article and then not clicked it. I wouldn't have wasted my time then. Sure. This particular article was from Gizmodo or io9. I think it's all the same company. So it doesn't really matter oh, yeah, which one it was. Um, it was about Mystery Men. Mystery Men is the movie starring William H. Macy. Oh, yeah, that was the... Uh... The article that you sent me that the Mystery Men is bad and was bad and is still bad. Like, it was really... It was something about... I didn't really... Really mean. I didn't Seems really like. care for Mystery Men when it came out. So I rewatched it and it's still stupid. Well, so you just didn't care for the movie. I'm like, you never liked it. You're not gonna like it. Right. I think that... That movie did, that movie did okay, didn't it? So what was the grievance with it? Like, what were the specifics? Was it all just taste, or did they say these jokes didn't work, this uh, acting was bad? What, what did they... The biggest use? issue that, the, that this person had with the movie was that Ben Stiller was too mean? Too mean? He was Mr. Furious, wasn't he? Yeah, he was Mr. Furious. Was that the whole idea? Right! So, Mystery Men came off the heels of There's Something About Mary, as far as Ben Stiller's career goes. And look, I get it. You're either a fan of his directing or not. That's fine. Right. Uh, and they just... thought that he should just stay at that. And they said that Meet the Parents and some other movie that came on oh, Zoolander were apologies for Mystery Men. Absolutely not. I'm like, no, they were just also movies. And... He has a darker sense of. Did you not see the cable guy? I think he just has a darker sense of humor than you're willing to give him credit for. And you don't care for it when he does that. They said the movie lacked focus. Maybe. And I'm like, okay, that's fair. The movie did not know what it wanted to be. I don't know if the movie didn't, or if the people distributing the movie didn't know what it was supposed to be and kind of forced a hand. You know what I mean? The first thing that this article writer did, I wish that I... I kind of want to look it up just so I can call him out Speaking by name. Lacking focus. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in this room anymore. I don't either. Alright. Hey, there's a there's a box straight ahead. It seems like a Open good idea, that. right? That's where I'm headed. Look at that. 
It's got a little shiny. Um, that's how you upgrade your weapons. So power node for the suit. What happened? Do you go backwards now? Go backwards. No, I think it's a yeah. Go 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 through there. Right elevator. Yeah, you backtrack a little bit. What was I talking about? Mystery you, men. You were talking about mystery men, and you were talking about the uh, lack of focus in the movie. Yeah, I'm, and I'm like this guy's gripes. This person's gripes were weird because the one thing they liked about the movie was Paul Rubens as the spleen. Because they said Paul Rubens was the only person on set that knew this movie was supposed to be silly. But... Okay, so... I think you've gone too far back. I've always heard, though, that if you're doing it... If you're doing silly material, like take the movie Airplane. Okay. Airplane is completely ridiculous at all times. You ever seen a grown man naked? The reason it works and isn't and doesn't just devolve into silliness for silliness's sake is because Leslie Nielsen is playing the whole thing completely straight. Oh yeah. He knows it's a comedy. He also knows that comedy won't work if he's being silly. It needs something to reflect again. I love how completely lost you are right now. I'm just going up at this point. So I'm going I'm like okay, hey, there's so a I was oh, I was your, here. That's your stasis yeah, jazz. My, I, I could I could upgrade my stasis I guess if I wanted to, but but that's that's the point though is that if everybody in the movie is silly and it's totally silly then the whole thing is just stupid right right you need somebody all right so I activated those things for repairs they talked about how Janine Garofalo and Kel Mitchell that's his name Keenan and Kel Kel Kel, Kel. his name's Kel his name is Kel. he played the Invisible Boy. And Keenan, no, Kel. no, that was Kel. Kel. I always oh, right. got him. I got him mixed up when I was a kid. Keenan's on Saturday Night Live. Right, Keenan has a career. I know. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> you, but, Kel, uh, Kel, Kel was in Mr. Men and Keenan and Kel and all that, and that's all he did. He's probably fine. Something tells me Keenan is taking care of Kel. If not overtly, then yeah, probably just you know, hey, you can crash on my couch. That's fine. They didn't like how they just kind of shoehorned him into the movie. And I said, both of those characters were introduced thoroughly. What movie did you watch? You knew exactly the motivations of those characters. Well, and even if you want to say that, like, his power was there for a specific reason, and it seems, seemed a little, like, you know... That was the other issue that this particular writer had with the movie, is that... So are superpowers real? Do they exist? Or... Hold on, just circling this room. You Go ahead. Keep going. Are they real? Do they exist? It's unclear. So Spleen has a superpower, right? Spleen has a genuine, like you, what you would perceive as a genuine power. It's it, the amount and the aim and all that of his farts is inhuman. You would he would be a metahuman on the scale. Hank is there. Hank is area being his classic insensitive self. But then you have people like William H Macy who downplay his powers into God gave me a gift. I shovel well. I shovel. Like I is shovel that a well. power? Does he shovel well? Is that it? Or is is he like unnaturally good at shoveling? I just love that his wife was so supportive of him. Well, I mean, and she had issues with him. In that she wasn't? <laughs> in that she was worried about him. She was worried about him. She was also incredibly embarrassed by him, which I thought oh, played yeah. pretty real. Yeah. She was genuinely worried about him. I'm going to leave you. You're disgusting. You make me weird, you weird me out. But she genuinely cared about the situation. I believed them as a couple. Blue Raja, Hank Azaria's character. Has not aged well. I'll agree with that. Uh, that was probably a bad move. A little one notey, but then again, let's be real. Like that's pretty much Hank Azaria. Yeah. As an actor, I mean, you get him to do some character, and then if that character works, then it's great. Look at like, the look at the, the bird, look at the birdcage, cage, exactly, for example. That's exactly it. That's it. Which I mean, let's face it, not everything in the bird cage has aged perfectly, but I still really enjoy. That I don't idea. think it was meant to. It no, was meant to capture that. To. It was meant to capture that moment in time, just like Mystery Man captured this weird transition in the late '90s, where so are comic book, are comic book movies going to be a thing? Are they going to exist? Or what's going on here? This is our best conversation episode, worst gameplay episode. Fantastic! You're just walking weird. around. And I'm circle. just walking around in a big square because the room is square. I want to tell you what to do, but I kind of like watching you walk around. It's amusing, right? No, it's not at all. It's terrible. Yeah. I want to get down there. I don't know why. You can't get down there. I know. I know that. You can't get... Look at the railing. You you can't get over... The, the man has... Look at the size of his shoes. They just let me flail just just a few moves ago. He walks well, up ramps. There's no way he can jump over a railing. Notice how there are no stairs in this game. All right. Let's just... 
Just follow the arrows. If huh? you want to watch a good movie, this don't don't it. watch Mystery Men. If you want to watch an entertaining movie on Netflix that's going to pass some time, go. Kind of weird ringtone just happened. Did she say string bean? No, she said. She, you need to go back to the stasis thing down there. I thank think. you. I think. Jeez. I think. I don't really know. Just you're a real sadist. You know that. <laughs> Letting me flail out here, knowing full well that I'd rather listen to you talk than actually accomplish this, so I'm not even... Go watch Mystery right. Men. It's on Netflix. I know you have Netflix. Everyone has Netflix. I don't know that it's still on Netflix, to be honest. I think it just came out. Let's check. I'm gonna check. This is important. Anyway, regarding the ringtone, that was, uh... Uh, the fifth element, by the way. That was Supreme Bean, not String Beans. I saw someone... So, this is a, a controversial topic. But here we go anyway. You know your COVID-19 vaccine card? I don't want to talk about it, but yeah. Okay. We're going to talk about it. Uh, we're going to talk about it in the capacity of the fifth element. All right. <laughs> right. I mean, I know on Amazon you can buy multi-pass holders for your vaccination. That's record. what I'm talking about. All right, good. That's all I'm talking about. It better be. Yeah, Mystery Men is on Netflix right now. I knew it was. I, was, I just didn't want to be. It came out on the 1st of September. Well, this in the year 10,000, though, I'm sure people won't be able to find We're going to quit playing this and go watch Mystery Men. Oh, well, that's a great idea. Let's I do that. Don't disagree with let's you. Make that happen. We're going to do that. All right, let me get to a save point. But, like, yeah, let's just... Isaac Clark is just moseying around this space station going, I don't know where I am. There it is. Save station. And ammo, too. It was I waiting mean, for you. Look, I suddenly got okay at the game. Yeah, we're playing on it easy. Obviously. Uh, I like to have fun when I play games. I don't know about you. I like them to hurt. And you know what? I can lie to myself and say it's more of an accomplishment than it is. Like, I don't need real accomplishment. No, no. no. I could beat this game and feel the same as if I beat it on hard. You want to know what real accomplishment is? Someone in Netflix was like, we did it. Mystery Men's on Netflix. And we made an animated Dead Space sequel that's also on Netflix. Good night, everybody.